Hey guys, uh, KG5IN here. I uh, wanted to go ahead and show you another quick video on how to program your Yaesu FTM100D or DR or DE. I guess it's probably all the same. It just says 100D on here and the software just says 100, so I guess they're trying to be universal. Anyways, uh, what what you're going to do is RT Systems has the software online. You can download it or you can purchase the CD and have them ship it to you. I downloaded it, I can burn it to a disc if I want to or just keep it on my uh, flash drive forever and then anytime I need it I just go ahead and plug it in, install it, set it up, good to go. Anyways, uh, so not to bore you with all the details, I've already installed the software. I'm going to go ahead and open this up and if you look, a little display pops up and here you go. This is just the defaults, default information and there you go. Now the next thing we need to do is plug in our Yaesu unit and if you see I've already got plugged in there's the USB cable and it actually plugs into that um, little DIN port on the back of that okay and it comes so it's right below the power cable here and it goes right up into the USB on the computer and it's actually set to a COM port um, but anyways we don't need to get into those details this does not require all that now whoever's used to the software awesome I'm not <laughs> anyways uh, we're gonna go ahead and power on the unit and there it is okay we're gonna go over to where it says dis um, display and hold it down for a second and you're gonna roll the knob all the way to number 13 okay hit enter or display setup then you're going to roll the knob all the way to number 7, which says clone, okay? And see where it says this radio to other? Other is meaning your laptop or other machines, you know, that are out there. So we're going to go ahead and say this radio to other. I'm going to hit the display option or display setup button. And we're not going to do this just yet, but we're going to get it set up and ready. So I'll roll the knob to OK and I'm about ready to hit the display setup button, but just not yet. Now we need to go over to the computer side. I've got the software open. We're gonna go over to where it says communications. Get data from radio. Then we're gonna come over here. Gives you a couple of sets of instructions. You hit okay. And now we're gonna go back to the radio and we're gonna click on the okay. There you go, check it out. Now it's actually transferring that data to the laptop from the Yaesu FTM 100. Still says sending. It actually sends pretty fast. It's probably about twice as slow as retrieving the information that, or sending from the computer back to the unit. I don't know why, maybe because it's got to write blocks and it's a totally different setup. Okay, not quite sure what happened there, but uh, my phone freaked out and I'm back. Anyways, uh, so we're going to go ahead and get this all set up. I remember I deleted that other one that said test. I added this new one and I call it test12. Plus you can add a comment and I'm just going to go ahead and just put a bunch of gibberish real quick on there for the comment. Um, I guess that's helpful and if you're using the software and you wanted to know more details about it and stuff. But anyways, um, alright, so I've got this all set up and done. I'm going to go ahead and move my laptop to a more comfortable spot real quick. And uh, now I've got it set up to the point where I want to send it back to the Yesu. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the USB cable right here, plug it back in. And you t typically, I guess, you want to plug it in before you turn the radio on. We're going to go back over, turn the radio back on. I'm going to go ahead and choose where it says uh, display setup. And I'm already at number 13. I'm going to enter into that and go to clone. We're going to go from other to this radio and we're going to hit OK. All right, but not just yet. First thing we've got to do is come back over here, go to communications, go to send data to radio, and it tells you, you know, 
connect the cable, turn on the radio, press and hold the display, and go to number 13, go to number 7, go to number 2, rotate the dial to OK, press display to start the waiting on the radio, click OK to start transfer. So let's go ahead and do this first. We're going to hit OK. It says waiting. Now we're going to come over here and quickly hit OK. There it goes. Now it's transferring the data from the laptop all the way through this USB into that little unit and there it says waiting or receiving and this will take about a couple minutes so I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right here and I'll be right back okay it's getting pretty close to the end here so I thought I'd go ahead and start this up um, and we're just waiting until this is finished transferring the data from the laptop to the unit there it goes it says completed now the unit automatically turns off, turns back on, shows the call sign, which is cool. And there you go, see test one, two on channel 10. There you go, channel 10. Now watch them roll it. Channel nine's gone. And there you go. Okay. So we have proof that it actually works. And look, it says low. <laughs> that one says medium for the power output. And I think full is just nothing so let me see if that's true yep see it says high power and it shows nothing there that might be a bug there's low there's mid they could put high you know hi but anyways so there you go cool right and if you look channel 10 or memory 10 Test 12 it says low. Come over here to the software. Test 12 it says low. Pretty sweet. All right, and the last thing you guys can do is go to file, save as, and you can just save it to wherever you'd like. And, um, anyways, pretty sweet. I'm going to save it here and I'm just going to say test 1 and this is nice because it'll allow you to be able to retrieve that data at a later time or email this to your buddy and say hey look man here's all the settings upload this to your radio bam you and your buddy will be on the same exact channels and everything it'll work out perfect all right um i'm sure there's a lot more details and a lot more stuff that i haven't gone into but i'll probably get to those a little bit later i just wanted to go ahead and show you guys what the software is all about and how it works and we'll go from there all right you guys have a good one uh, good one <laughs> kg5 in all clear 73 have a good one guys